Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-divide ng mga radicals. For example, square root of 72x over square root of 2x. Okay, so gagawin lang natin, divide lang natin yung 72 into 2. And 72 divided by 2, that is equal to 36. And then yung x, that is x raised to 1 over x raised to 1. Subtract lang natin yung mga exponent nila. So that is 1 minus 1, that is 0. So wala nang x dyan. And then, meron pa rin yung square root. And square root of 36, that is equal to 6. Next, what is the cube root of 125x raised to 9 over 27y raised to 6? Okay, so what is the cube root of 125? That is 5. Say 5 times 5 times 5, that is equal to 25. Or 5 raised to 3, that is 25. How about 27? That is 3. So 3 raised to 3, that is 27. How about yung cube root ng x raised to 9? So, parang kunin lang natin yung exponent niya, which is 9. And then, yung index, which is 3. So, that is 9 divided by 3. And 9 divided by 3, that is equal to 3. So, that is 5x raised to 3. Next, yung y. That is, yung exponent niya is 6. So, that is 6 over 3. And that is equal to 2. So, that is y raised to 2. And that's the answer. Next, square root of 72x raised to 8, y raised to 12, over 50, a raised to 4, b raised to 5. So, yung 72 at 50, hindi sila mga perfect square. So, paano gagawin natin? So, kunin lang natin yung mga factors nila. So, ano yung factors ng 72? So, yung 72, divide natin sa pinakamalaking perfect square na pwedeng i-divide sa kanya. At ano yan? That is 36. 36. So, 72 divided by 36, that is 2. Square root of 36 times square root of 2 is equal to square root of 72. How about 50? So, we have 25. And 50 divided by 25, that is 2. The square root of 25 times the square root of 2 is equal to square root of 50. Paano naman yung x? So, di ba yung index nito is 2? So, divide lang natin. It's 8 over 2, which is equal to 4. So, it is x raised to 4. And then yung 12, that is 12 divided by 2, that is equal to 6. So, that is y raised to 6. How about tong yung a? So, that is a. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. And then, how about yung 5? So, 5 divided by 2. So, that is 2. 2 times 2, 4. Remainder 1. So, then b. So, makakalabas yung dalawa. May dalawa kasi yung quotient niya is 2. And then, may remainder 1. So, may matitirang isang B sa loob ng radical sign. Okay, so simplify na natin ito. Okay, napapansin nyo, meron tayong ditong dalawang square root of 2. So, square root of 2 divided by square root of 2, that is 1. So, pwede natin i-cancel yan. Okay, so simplify natin. So, square root of 36, that is 6. And then, yung x raised to 4, y raised to 6. And square root of 25, that is 5. A raised to 2, B raised to 2, square root of B. Sa loss of radicals, hindi pwedeng may radical sign sa denominator. So, anong gagawin natin? So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by square root of B. So, that is equal to 6x to the fourth power y to the 6th power, 5a to the 2nd power, b to the 2nd power, and then yung square root of b, lagay lang natin dito, 
Then to square root of b times square root of b, that is b. That is b. Then itong b square, tapos b, pwede natin pagsamahin yan. So we can write this as 6x to the 4th power, y to the 6th power, square root of b over 5a to the 2nd power, then 2 plus 1, that is b raised to 3. Next example, cube root of 24x raised to 9, y raised to 3, z raised to 10, over 81x raised to 2, y raised to 6, z raised to 3. So, tignan natin itong 24 and 81. Hindi sila perfect cube. So, ang gagawin natin, factor natin din sila. So, yung factor natin, dapat yung isa is perfect cube. So, na perfect cube, so, 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, and so on. So, ano yung pwedeng i sa 24 dun sa mga perfect cube na yan? So, sa 8. Pwede natin divide yung 24 sa 8 and yung sagot is 3. So, 3 times 8 is equal to 24. How about yung 81? Pwede natin i-divide yung 27. So, ang sagot din ay 3. Parehas din. And 3 times 27 is equal to 81. How about yung x? So, meron tayong dalawang x. So, x raised to 9 over x raised to 2. So, pag subtract lang natin yung exponent nila. So, 9 minus 2, that is 7. So, dito sa taas, lagay lang natin x raised to 9 minus 2, that is 7. Okay, next. Yung y. So, 3 minus 6, that is negative 3. That is y raised to negative 3. Since negative yung exponent, so lagay na lang natin sa baba. So, y raised to 3. Yung lipat sa baba, magiging positive. Then next, yung z. So, 10 minus 3, that is 7. So, that is z raised to 7. And then, meron pa rin yung square root, syempre. Or cube root. May nakapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawang 3 dito. So, pwede natin i-cancel yan. Kasi yung stagot lang naman yan is 1. Simplify pa natin. So, what is the cube root of 8? That is 2. How about 27? That is 3. Ano yung cube root ng x raised to 7? So, this is 7 over 3. Yung exponent, i-divide natin sa index. So, 7 over 3. That is 2 remainder 1. So, it is x raised to 2. And then, dahil may remainder 1, so lagay pa natin yung cube root of x. Next, yung z naman. So, 7 divided by 3 din. So, ganun din. So, that is z. So, z raised to 2 cube root of z. Okay, how about yung 3? 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So, lagay lang natin is dito y. Then, tong cube root of x, tapos cube root of c, pwede na natin pagsamahin. So, that is 2x raised to 2, z raised to 2, cube root of x, z over 3y. So, ito ang video natin para sa araw na ito. At sana nag-enjoy kayo at may bago kayo natutunan. At huwag kakalimutan mag-like, mag-share, at mag-subscribe at pinutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong video.